My name is Sarah and I've been riding for nine years. I think efficiency on the bike for racing is very important. If you're not being efficient, you are losing maximal power output, maybe to someone else that's being more efficient. Uh, you might need that extra kick at the end and you don't have it because you've lost it by being inefficient the whole time. With the human body, we think of fuel as oxygen. The more efficient we make the rider by allowing them to relax their upper body, use less musculature while they're pedaling, makes them more efficient. A fit's extremely important because if we can put the rider in a good position, such as their knee has the right extension given their flexibility, their front end is in the right place where they can totally relax their elbows, relax their shoulders, relax their whole upper body, it's using less musculature. That decrease in use leads to greater efficiency. A performance-oriented rider will benefit from a retool fit because we use the most advanced 3D motion capture system on the market. Uh, this allows us not only to capture the rider in an extremely precise manner that's repeatable, but we can do it while the rider is pedaling at a relatively high exertion rate. Using the retool fit system, we can capture someone's riding position while they're stressed and make changes based off of that. I have never been properly fitted on a bike before today. So when I met Sarah, uh, she told me her goals were to be an elite level crit racer. She wasn't necessarily having any issues on the bike, so she was looking just to optimize her position. Using the digital SIPPON device, we determined that she was sitting off the back of her saddle, which made sense. Looking at her pre-fit assessment, I saw that her IT width was wider than what the saddle she had on her bike was supporting her for. And that seems to affect just about everything in Sarah's position. She had a really long, low, aggressive position, but her knee for aft position wasn't ideal. So we got her off the bike, we changed the saddle to the right width, one thing that happened was when we put Sarah on the right saddle, it actually moved her forward by upwards of two and a half centimeters. It's a huge change. With that change, it actually caused Sarah to feel short in the front end. She was really locked up in the upper body, meaning that her elbows were locked out, her shoulders were shrugged. This can lead to a lot of discomfort for a rider like Sarah who's riding in excess of 10 to 15 hours per week. So what we did is we threw on our retool angle, which is our adjustable fit stem. We then proceeded to play around with the position. We lowered it and we lengthened it. This helped Sarah to get a little more reach, similar to what she had before. By doing this change, it helped her relax her elbows, her shoulders, and really put her into a position that she could ride for long periods of time at a high intensity. Once the adjustments were made on the bike, the changing of the saddle felt great. I was riding a saddle that was too narrow for my sit bones. Wasn't really aware until I actually had the appropriate size saddle underneath me. Having a proper fit can definitely help me maximize my training a lot more efficiently. I love seeing how far I can go, how high up I can go. Love being on that top step of the podium. Um, so anything that can get me there, I'm definitely down to try.